Hello and welcome back to Clicks on the Side. Today we're going to do a 300 point modern theme team based around the monster keyword. Been looking forward to doing this ever since uh, a legacy card for Deadpool Weapon X was announced. So uh, finally got the legacy card to match the figure and we are going to base this team starting with legacy card L036 originally from the Deadpool and the X-Force set, Shikla. This is one I did have in my collection, so was happy she gets another life in clicks. Had to trade for the card, so I had to wait for it to show up. But there is Shikla. She has the Mystics team ability. Deadpool Core, Legion of Monsters, Monster, Mystical, and Ruler keywords. Has the trait Psychic Vampire. Sheikla starts the game on click four. Now, that has been errated. It is click four. But as you see on her dial, the green line is on click five. So, she does indeed start on click four. Steel Energy, but with close or range attacks. When Sheikla uses it, she may heal past her starting line. Very handy as she does start off with running shot and a range of five, so you have potential to get her up sooner rather than later. Those also have the trait, I can't believe I married that guy. Free. Once per game, place a friendly character named Deadpool or Dracula adjacent to Sheikla. Remove all action tokens from that character. Very nice. 50 points. Has that range of 5. Uh, does have running shot, precision strike, toughness, and shape change to start off. And then she can build up to be literally an absolute monster. Because as you see, she does have a special movement on both her number 1 click and her number 8 click. Let's take a look at that. It is a stop click. Monstrous form. As you know, the original, uh, well, you may not know, but the original Sheikla, uh, there was a super rare in that set as well that if she got on one of those clicks, she could turn into. So to make up for that, we have this now, the stop click. The first time this power is revealed, this game Sheikla can use charge and modifies her combat values plus two. So, if you are able to use her vampire abilities to the best of your ability, get her up to click number one. She now has a 14 movement, 14 attack with Pinsai, a 20 with Invuln, and a 6 with Shape Change for damage. I, that's not something I want to mess around with. Now, for this team, we are also going to give her the Billy Clubs. That way she has two targets with that five range, and hopefully can running shot and uh, steal energy twice, so you can get her up to click number two on her first attack, hopefully. So we are starting off with Sheikla. Now, as you know, she has that trait for, uh, I can't believe I married that guy. So it would just be beneficial to have one of those guys on this team. And the one we are going with is from Wheels of Vengeance, number 26 rare, Dracula. Just wanting to find a team for him. And once I saw that Sheikla uh, was getting the legacy treatment and what she could do, I knew I had my combination. There we go. Dracula. No team abilities, but does have the Legion of Monsters, Vampire Brood, Monster Mythical, I'm sorry, Mystical, Mystical, Past, and Ruler keywords. Has the trait King of the Vampires. Dracula starts the game on click number four. Steel Energy. When he uses it, he may heal past his starting line. When Dracula or a friendly vampire, uh, number nine vampire, KOs an opposing character, after resolutions, you may generate a number nine vampire on its starting click in the square the KO'd character last occupied. 
So let's take a look. There is the vampire. So if you do get to spawn one, it'd be on click three. So still some blades, some shape change. Nothing too dangerous, no mystics. Just another little piece to be annoying and tie up uh, your opponent. But Dracula does have a second trait. The scent of fresh blood. When Dracula damages one or more opposing characters after resolutions, choose up to two other friendly characters that can use steel energy. This turn, they have free half speed move. So, on this team there will be two characters that uh, can also use steel energy. You met one in Sheikla. And the other one you'll see here in just a little bit. But very handy to have them both on there. Starts off with Charge, Impervious, and uh, Outwit. But if you get them up in the click 1, 2, or 3 territory, gets that special movement. Oh, and I dropped him. Come back here. Uh, special movement of Charge, Flurry, and Stealth. To go along with that Steel Energy. And those combat values just get higher with the Invincible and the Combat, uh, I'm sorry, um, Exploit Weakness and the Exploit Weakness. Very, very nice. Love to see that. Now, how are we going to get these guys around? I'm pretty sure you know who I'm going to say next. Because he is on most monster teams these days. Especially in the pulp format. From the Wheels of Vengeance set. Rare number 30. Blackheart. Gotta have Blackheart in there. Let's get him over to the side for a moment. There we go. Has the Mystic's Team ability, the Hellfire Club, Deity, Monster, Mystical, and Ruler keywords, and has the trait Prince of the Underworld. Free. Choose up to two adjacent friendly characters with the Monster or Mystical keyword. Place Blackheart in a square of hindering terrain within range. When uh, Then place the chosen adjacent uh, characters adjacent to Blackheart. We are going to be doing him on his 50-point click. So he's going to start off with Stealth, Pulse Wave, Invuln, and Empower with a range of 5 for that trait. And luckily everything is going to have at least the monster keyword on this team so anyone else on the team can benefit from being placed. But he does have a second trait, Brimstone. At the beginning of your turn, generate a Fire Smoke Terrain Marker in a square within range. At the beginning of your next turn, even if this is lost, deal one damage to each character occupying that marker, then remove that marker. So, even if there is not hindering terrain, he can create his own. Go ahead and move up to it. And then place his teammates adjacent to him. Very nice. And with that invuln... He can take that one damage and it's reduced, so you don't even have to worry about it for Blackheart. And even if you don't need to do it uh, for him to move, you can always place it under a uh, uh, opposing character that does not have a reducer and see if you can get an easy one damage in. But gotta love Blackheart as a taxi for this team. The plan is... Pretty much Blackheart is going to go ahead and carry up Sheikla. As well as another person on this team. Sheikla, uh, once, uh, I'm sorry, not carry. Blackheart is going to place Sheikla beside him. Sheikla is then going to running shot up. Since she has a nine running shot. So she can running shot up five squares and shoot. So anything within 10 squares that's in the line of fire. And you steal life on them to try to boost her stats up. Once her movement is done, 
then you can go ahead and take in uh, use her trait to place Dracula beside her and then hopefully if you were, if you did it right you have your opponent within four squares of Dracula so he can charge and do his steel energy to try to get him up to his invincible so hopefully if all goes well in one turn you get both Sheikla and Drac above their starting line that's what I'm going for with that team or with that combo and the next piece should help with that as well the other piece that Blackheart will take up with him and I think you guys were probably expecting this as well from the Marvel next phase set super rare number 53 a man thing love this piece I actually pulled man thing prime in my unboxing video and I just had to get the regular one as well I'm a big fan of animal keyword monster keyword the, the generic keywords I love them so I knew he would just fit into too many teams for the point value I had to do it I paid 40 bucks for him and I'm glad I did seeing as what his price has risen to now so very glad to have him on there um, just goes to show sometimes when you feel like you're overpaying when the set first comes out it paid off all right let's take a look at man thing it does have the mystics team ability animal monster mystical and scientist keywords I love all those keywords it just puts him on so many teams has the trait one with the swamp stealth when man thing starts the game generate four plant hindering terrain markers anywhere on the map this game those markers have when this <clears throat> excuse me when this marker hinders line of fire characters instead modify defense plus two um can be helpful for him uh, he does have stealth and that would protect him from any stealth busting uh, if he's still inside of it because even though they could target him it would still be a 21 defense for them to try to hit him so i i, I really do appreciate that um i'll put him on a team with uh that poison ivy i know there's a couple others that can do that as well uh there's shenanigans to be had but uh he does have plasticity a special attack power 19 with combat reflexes and exploit weakness and he is giant size for 55 points does have a special attack as well but he does also have one more trait and that trait is insane free of the bloodstone charge invincible and steel energy that might be my favorite trait ever and then there is the special attack poison and super strength so you put him up there you base him to some poor soul with his plasticity you're poisoning them you're still you steal energy on them and what do they have to do to try to get rid of you oh nothing they just got to try to get through your 21 invincible to start off up close or if they're trying to target you and you're inside one of your plant marker train markers 21 invincible from range as well yeah no thank you just a just a really great piece for only 55 points you really can't beat it yeah i love it uh let's see that does leave us with a few points left on a monster team i have not used my prime yet so we are going back to Avenger 60th and we're going to go ahead and throw on for 10 points Hulk Prime. Most of you are familiar with Hulk Prime and what he can do. Get you over there and put you over here. He does have the Avengers and Defenders team ability. Avengers, Defenders, Brute and Monster keywords does come in at 10 points improved movement through blocking which is imperative for him 
Has the trait Smash. If Hulk started the game on his red starting line, he may only heal from his Path of Destruction trait. And when he does, he may heal past his starting line. Leap Climb. Quake. Toughness to start off with on click 9. Nothing special there, but for 10 points. And there is the Path of Destruction trait where you can try to bump him up. When Hulk destroys one or more pieces of terrain, after resolutions, heal him one click. If it was a terrain marker, roll a d6 and heal him half the result instead. So, you want to go ahead and try to set some terrain markers close enough that he can just run around in the background and break those. And heal up while uh, your opponent's busy trying to deal with Man-Thing and Drac. Has one more trait, and that is Gamma Powered. Willpower... Hulk's defense powers have protected outwit. So like I said, it's only toughness to begin with, so that does protect him from poison. But not much else, so you want to try to get him up as quickly as possible. Um, if you're in indoor terrain, that'll greatly help because there's just going to be walls you can just tear through and uh, try to heal him up. That would be a little bit slower. Um... You want to try to get him to as many terrain markers as possible just to try to make it that much quicker for him to build up. So there you have it. That is my take on a modern monster theme team. Really wanted to try these vampire dials out and see what we could do with them. Um, yeah, I really want to see just how effective Drac can be once he gets above that starting line. But I feel like there's some potential here to, to just be a fun, well, nothing meta, nothing like that. Just a fun build for a, a local game. But let me know what you think, any changes you'd make to the team. And until next time, thank you very much for joining me. And this has been Clicks on the Side.